Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is it. This is the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip inside it. Now this product right over here is a very important one because this is Apple's very first time making a chipset and that's why this is so important. So this is a transition period that we are going through and this product right over here is the first of that transition period. The MacBook Air with the M1 chip. Now I personally am really excited to open this laptop up because I've seen a lot of reviews and every one of them says that this machine is really good. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox it. All right, here we go. This is the laptop itself. I'm going to keep it aside for a moment and let's see what all do we get inside the box. Nothing much because it is Apple, but luckily we do get a charger inside the box. So this is a normal charger that we get inside the box and we also get a USB type C to USB type C cable because this laptop only comes with two USB type C ports. So yeah, that's it. This is the charger. And apart from that, there is some paperwork inside, which includes the quick start guide, warranty information, and also grey apple stickers because of the space grey macbook air so this is a very nice touch grey apple stickers now i'm going to keep all these aside for a moment and let's get back to the laptop so here we go this is the macbook air now this is the base variant which comes with 8 gb of ram and 256 gb of internal storage which is an ssd so base variant for 93,000 rupees, that's what you're looking at over here. Now it's the best part of the video. This is what you've clicked for. Let's remove that plastic. All right, here we go. I'm gonna quickly open this laptop up and as soon as I open it up, it's gonna turn on because that's how MacBooks are made. So yeah, I was right, it instantly turned on and that is excellent. Now I'm quickly going to go ahead and set up this laptop, install my apps, test it a little bit and then I'll get back to you. Alright, welcome back. This is it. This is the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip. I used it for almost four hours straight, installed all the apps that I needed to test and I finally gathered my thoughts. Now right off the bat, there are some questions that need to be answered because this is a first generation product. Now fun fact, I had decided that I won't buy the first laptop that Apple will launch with their own chipsets. But after watching a lot of content around these new MacBooks, I thought let's give them a try because everyone is saying that they are awesome. So I was like, let's just try it out and let's find the real truth. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in today's video. Do watch this video till the end because there are some things that might surprise you, which you may not have expected. Let's start by answering some questions. First and foremost, what is working and what is not working? All Apple apps that are first party apps are working absolutely fine and that is expected because this is an Apple computer. So apps like Safari, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, Pages, Keynote, etc. are working absolutely fine and that is a great thing. You might be wondering what about third party apps? So let's get to that list. First and foremost is Spotify. Spotify is working fine. It is using Rosetta 2 to translate the app and that is working really well. So no complaints with Spotify. Next up is Zoom. Zoom is being used a lot these days and yes, Zoom is available for the new M1 chips and even that is working perfectly fine. No issues with Zoom as well. Next up on the list are browsers. So Microsoft Edge as well as Google Chrome are working on these new laptops. Now I know a lot of you out there do not use Safari and they like to use Chrome or Microsoft Edge and both of them are working with these new MacBooks. Next up is the Adobe Suite or Creative Cloud. So Creative Cloud applications like Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, After Effects are not yet optimized for M1 chips. Like the dedicated apps for the M1 chips have not come yet. They will come in the future. As of now, it is using Rosetta 2 to translate these apps 
and for me they are working absolutely fine like for my workflow i did not face any issues with lightroom neither did i face any issue with photoshop both of them seem to be working fine but it might be different for your workflow so there might be some tool that you use which might not work again this is all speculation you will have to use it yourself to know what is working and what is not working so if you are heavily locked into the adobe ecosystem then i would recommend you to wait for the updates like the updates for m1 chips when that update comes out then you can buy these laptops but until then just you know sit tight next on the list is microsoft office ms office applications like excel powerpoint word are working on these new macbooks and that is a good thing so that was the compatibility point and what's working and what's not working hopefully you get a very good idea from that now the next question that comes in is about the battery life how good is the battery life on these new macbooks the battery life is excellent like i unboxed this macbook and used it for 4 hours straight and it just dropped like 8 to 9% of battery it is that good so you can easily use this laptop for a full day without any worries about charging it up and that is excellent so battery life was something that i was really looking forward to because of the reviews that i had seen and those reviewers are not wrong the battery life on this new macbook is insane now one thing that i do not like are the number of ports available two usb c ports which are thunderbolt enabled but that is less they should have given four ports because come on it's 2020 they should have given four ports two ports is very less trust me on that also both of these ports are on the same side so if you attach a big dongle it will cover up both of the ports and that is kind of an issue so they should have given it on the either side or just included more ports that would have been the perfect solution all right it's time to answer the main question how is the performance of this new macbook air with the m1 chip now when it comes to performance there are two parts first one is day to day usage and second one is professional usage or heavy usage when it comes to normal day to day things this laptop is excellent in terms of performance so things like checking your email watching 4k videos on youtube and netflix editing your favorite photos in lightroom or photoshop or just browsing through your favorite websites all these tasks are excellent on this new macbook air with the m1 chip Mac OS Big Sur plus this new M1 chip is a match made in heaven for normal things. Now I am focusing on the normal things over here because the second point that is heavy usage or professional usage is where I was a little bit surprised. Now I started with Final Cut Pro 10 because that's what I use on a daily basis. I took my Pixel 4a review project and exported that project in full resolution on my iMac and on this MacBook Air M1. and the results are surprising this 4k imac with a 6 core i5 processor 8 gb ram and a fusion drive took about 4 minutes and 5 seconds to export the whole project now, the same project on this new macbook air m1 with 8 gb of ram apple m1 processor and 256 gb ssd took about 4 minutes and 30 seconds so that's where it was surprising now here's the thing I watched a lot of videos about the MacBook Air M1 and almost 90% of those videos said that it is better than all the MacBook Pros out there. But I do not think that is true. It might be better in terms of normal day-to-day -day things, but it is not better for professional things which are going to take a lot of CPU power. Now obviously it is still impressive that it comes close to the iMac because the iMac costs about 1.5 lakhs and this one costs about 90,000 rupees. So for the price the performance is excellent. but i'm saying that it is a little bit overhyped and do not fall for that hype so if you are planning to buy this laptop for your main usage and if you do a lot of heavy stuff then i would say wait for the next generation the next generation is definitely going to be better and if the start is this good then i cannot imagine what will apple do in their next generation so just hold on for a bit and be patient is what i'm saying Now apart from all these things this is still a MacBook Air and it is similar to the previous MacBook Air. It comes with the new Magic Keyboard, it comes with Touch ID, great speakers, great microphones, a Retina display and an average webcam. So all those things are still the same on this laptop and it's still a MacBook Air but with way better internals. Like before this you would get a Core i3 processor at this price point. but now you're getting the apple m1 chip it comes close to a core i7 but it most definitely will not beat it benchmarks will say otherwise benchmarks will say that it comes close to a core i9 or maybe even better but that's not the case in real life scenario all right there are a couple of things that i forgot to mention that i should have mentioned number one is that this laptop is not going to replace pro laptops anytime soon 
So if you were considering buying a 16 inch MacBook Pro and thought that maybe you should go with 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1, do not do that. Go with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, maybe with the Core i9 or i7, that laptop is still going to be better for you for your Pro work. If you do want a Pro machine with Apple Silicon in it, then wait for it. They are coming in the next year and please wait for it. So these two points are very important and keep them in mind. So these were my honest first impressions and opinions about this new MacBook Air M1. I love this machine because this is going to be my secondary laptop. And for the price, this is really good for my use case scenario. Your use case might be different and please take some time to think about it because it is very important. If you like this video, then show your love by hitting that like button. Also, if you have any questions about this laptop, do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.